This one's beautiful. Raphael by the University of Hong Kong and Sense Time Research. Not actually a big model, three billion parameters, one of the first to train on Lion 5B. They say Raphael outperforms recent cutting edge models such as Stable Diffusion, Ernie Village 2.0, Deep Floyd and Dolly 2 in terms of both image quality and aesthetic appeal. Here's my very favorite. Tell me what you reckon about this one. Chinese illustration, multi-dimensional paper Kirigami craft. This one has been upscaled by a GAN to 3072 by 2048 pixels. It's huge and super detailed. All conceptualized by a text to image model based on that prompt. What about photography close-up portrait of an adorable, rusty, broken down steampunk robot? And there's a little bit more in that prompt. Once again, super high resolution, upscaled using a GAN and very, very detailed. The research team from the University of Hong Kong and SenseTime Research found that Raphael outperforms nearly all of the major text-to-image models. Here it is, about twice the quality of Dolly 2, twice the quality of Stable Diffusion, just slightly better quality than Ernie Village 2. You'll see my coverage of that in a separate video. And this one looks like it's five, six, seven times the quality of Deep Floyd IF. I liked that image model because it could do text really nicely. Let's see some comparisons of Raphael versus a few of the big text to image models. The parrot with a pearl earring, I think Ernie Vilge is the top one there. And a car playing soccer, that's just weird. various versions of an angry Pikachu. Five cars in the street. Notice that only Raphael gets that one right. Wearing black high-waisted trousers here. Raphael does very well with that one. A few of them don't even get the color or the type of clothing correct. And once again, Raphael does really, really well with text, followed closely by Stable Diffusion, the extra large model. The data set they chose to use was Lion 5B, plus some internal data sets. They filtered the images for aesthetics, removing anything with a score lower than 4.7. All right, let's have a look at some of my favorite images from the paper here. Let's start with harvest of vegetables in a wooden box. You'll notice these prompts are pretty detailed. The team used GPT 3.5 to come up with hundreds of different adjectives for each prompt. Here's Zelda Breath of the Wild as a low poly isometric. Goddess of High Fashion, pen and ink illustration. A beautiful woman dressed in a dress made of autumn leaves. This is the Milky Way in a glass bottle. That one is amazing. It reminds me of Phoenix. You can see that the model even conceptualized what the reflections would look like, all of the different light and shadow. Watercolor of a purple hydrangea clip art. This is a long one. Let's call it a biophilic eco-mansion. Mm -hmm. 
is cute child wearing a down jacket, cat ears. Conceptualized by artificial intelligence, this child does not exist. It has been thought up based on its training of somewhere under 5 billion images being seen. Mayan Empire in cyberpunk style. I lived just next door to this about a year ago. A very cute little shamrock bird in a mossy forest. Here's an American comic character with short brown hair. See if you recognize this guy. Maybe not. Is it trying to get close to Harry Potter? All I know is that would have taken many hours for a human to create, done in less than 10 seconds for AI. Here's an interesting one, pixel art of a video game city wallpaper. They've got some spelling mistakes in here, wide angle instead of wide angle. In 2023, language models and text to image models are far more forgiving of syntax and spelling and grammar issues and they pretty much fix it during the conceptualization phase. So we don't have to be that strict with syntax anymore. We'll wrap up with this one, a cute fluffy sentient alien Large, innocent eyes. <laughs> OpenAI has been doing a world tour. They recently hit Beijing in China, where the CEO told BAAI, with the emergence of the increasingly powerful AI systems, the stakes for global cooperation have never been higher. China has some of the best AI talent in the world. And I think that's becoming increasingly visible, not just for text image models like Raphael and Ernie Vilge 2.0, but even for large language models where we're seeing Intern LM and Ernie 3.0 competing very well with some of the Western models. Very interesting times. I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my monthly newsletters. If you become a full subscriber, you get access to some pretty cool stuff, including my keynotes around the world. Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.